afternoon. Today I want to show you a new feature in Google Calendar on our Google for Education accounts that can open up some options for appointment scheduling. So the first thing we're going to need to do is actually turn this feature on in your Google Calendar. So once you are logged into your calendar, you're going to come to your settings menu, which is this little cogwheel. We're going to click it, click settings, and come right over here on the left-hand menu to appointment schedules. And make sure that you have this button checked that says create appointment schedules instead of appointment slots. When we go back to the calendar, come over here to create, and we're going to create an appointment schedule. This is going to create a unique web link that you can send out either in your email signature or as part of school communication so people can schedule appointments with you right on your Google Calendar and it's going to integrate with what you already have scheduled as well as what you may potentially schedule in the future. I'm going to give this a title. And then here at appointment duration, you can choose how long each appointment should last. I like to have 30 minute windows, but you can choose 15 all the way up to two hours and you can even customize them depending on the length of your time periods, especially if you're in one of the secondary schools. You can pick your availability. So I have mine set up to repeat automatically the same schedule every week. I have open availability from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. These buttons right over here, if you would like to block out certain days, for instance, making yourself only available on Monday and Wednesday, you would go to Tuesday and click the little um, no sign to say unavailable all day, and that would repeat automatically. You can add multiple time periods in a day if you have a morning window and an afternoon window, or you can click this button right here, and that's going to copy those time availabilities all the way through your days that you have open. Your scheduling window is going to be a rolling availability. Right now, I have it set up to where it is immediately starting availability, but you can limit your date ranges if, for instance, you want to make yourself only available during the calendar school year. So you can make that edit right here. And I have a rolling availability for 60 days. So that means as soon as someone opens this, they can see my availability for 60 days out. So if someone opens it today, it's 60 days from today. And if someone opens it on Friday, that's 60 days from Friday. You can change this as well to be 30 days or 40 days or whatever you might like. And I like people to be able to book appointments at least 24 hours in advance for the sake of knowing what is going on in my life. So I have this set at 24 hours, but you can change that to whatever best suits your needs. Right here, you can also change your availability for particular days. If you have just one date in mind that you have some different availability, for instance, if you have parent-teacher conferences or something like that coming up, you may want to add some availability. Or if you know that you're going to be out for a doctor's appointment on certain days, you can block that out as well. You may also create buffer times which means that there is a gap between appointments. I have to move between buildings sometimes, so I have a 30 minute buffer time. If you don't need that, you can just uncheck that box and take that right out. You can also select to have a maximum number of appointments available per day. On this page, this will show you what your picture and your name looks like to someone opening your appointment schedule. Um, this can be changed by going to your Google account to switch out your photo and your name if that is not what you would like. So you can just click that button right there. Choosing your location, if you prefer to meet in person, you can click this and specify a location. Or if you might like to only meet via Google Meet, then a Meet link will automatically be generated for your appointment schedules. But you can also go in and change this to none, where you can edit the appointment based on what exactly it is. You'll want to add a description. This is going to show up on the main booking page. And here, 
for the booking form. This is the information that is being requested by someone when they schedule an appointment with you. Automatically, you will have to have someone put in their first name, their last name, and their email address. You can also add at this time one custom item. So here I have just please describe what we are meeting about today. You might ask also, for instance, if you are meeting with parents, what their student's full name is, because we all know sometimes our parents have different last names than their students. Reminders and confirmations. A calendar invitation will be sent back to that person, but if they don't have a Google Calendar, that's okay because this is open link for everyone. An email reminder can also be set up to be sent. I have two different reminders. You can choose to have none by unclicking that or multiples. I have added one day before, and then I have also added one hour before, but you can create custom ones or as many as you would like. Once you save this, it will kick you back into your calendar and you'll see alongside all your standing appointments, what looks like a rider. And what this is, if you open the booking page, this shows the link that you would send out to people and it shows my availability. Now you'll see, for instance, on Wednesday, because I have some standing appointments, I only have three appointment slots and those appointment slots are actually different than Thursday and Friday because of standing appointments I make. Now, if I go in and I add, for instance, an event at 9 a.m. on Friday, and then I come back to my appointment page, now that appointment is no longer available for someone if they were to click on the link and try and book an appointment with me. So this is a live, active, calendar that is constantly rolling. So this is a really cool tool for you to use to schedule parent-teacher conferences, to schedule teacher conferences with your staff or with your colleagues. Everything can be integrated right here from this one calendar now. Okay.